I really can't wait to show you this experiment because I've got a variety of fabrics here. Hi and welcome back. In today's video, it's all about what fabrics you should be using when making your face mask. It's absolutely imperative that you get this right because there's no point wearing a face mask if the coronavirus is going to get through it and you end up getting the virus. You're thinking that you're protecting yourself when you clearly aren't because you're using the wrong fabric. So I have done a video on how to make a mask, which I'm going to put the link right there. I used jeans and I used 100% cotton, but I want to show you what other materials you could be using or should not be using because I have got literally hundreds of examples. I've got two masks. They're both FFP3 masks and I'm going to put this on top of the light and then also put a magnifying glass on top so that you can see how tightly woven this is and then I'm going to compare it against a whole variety of fabric. This is just t-shirt material. I've also got a variety of woolen fabrics and I think I was making something here, probably making myself a jumper. Subscribe if you want to see what I do with this because I was actually just doing some patchwork with some fabrics. Cottons, t-shirt shirt material, oh trouser material, I mean I just can't wait to just put this up against the light so that you can see for yourself. I've also got a variety of denim jean material as well. Again, not all of it can be used because if it lets the light through, then you've got, you've got to discard it. So I'm now going to get on with just putting these through the light so that you can see for yourself just how effective the fabrics are. This is the FFP3 mask with a filter. Using a magnifying glass, I'm really zooming into the fabric to see what it looks like. And as you can see, there is no light that's coming through it. There are no holes whatsoever. It's a highly compact, compressed fabric. And here's a second mask, which I call the Donald Duck mask. Again, when you zoom into it, you can see there are absolutely no holes. And these are the masks that we should be using as a reference when we are making our masks from home or buying them from the shops. This is the pile of materials that I'm going to be going through to check which ones are most effective. It's like jeans, shirts, t-shirts, jumpers, trousers, tops, lining, you know, summer wear, winter wear, just a combination of lots of different fabrics, various cloths, scarves even, because these are items that we have within our home that we could easily use without having to go into the shops to buy specifically for the face mask. A lot of the materials I'm just going through very, very quickly. Where you can see where I'm actually stretching the material or zooming in more closely is because I'm double checking to see if light will go through it, even if I stretch the material. And it's really good to see that there are actually a lot of materials that you can use. Now, I would like to stress that no mask that we make in the home is going to be as good as the N95 or FF. P3 masks because really they are filtering out between 95 and 99 percent of the particles and we won't get that kind of coverage but due to the fact that there are not enough PPE out there it's better to just make our own and leave those to the frontline workers who need them. Wearing a mask is better than not wearing anything and my advice would be that if you have got some fabrics, just put them up against the light and use those fabrics that have the least amount of light coming through it. And if you need to, make a mask with two or three layers because that's still going to give you a pretty good barrier. And also remember, you can use a filter as well to try and prevent the light coming through. If you want to know what fabrics to use, you may not want to or have the finance to be able to go to a shop and buy the fabric that you need to make a face mask. 
but you don't have to do that. Just look at what you have in your home. What you're really looking for is high density woven fabrics. You can use tea towels. Tea towels are very effective. Bed linen, pillowcases, even some scarves will do the trick. But what I found to be most beneficial, the ones that worked the best were jeans and trousers. Definitely, if you can, cut up an old pair or maybe your child's grown out of some trousers again it's better to wear something than nothing apply two or more layers and if you can use some kind of filter now what i've done here is i'm showing you on the pile on the right is what would be acceptable you know office trousers or just very dark trousers with high density fabric and surprisingly they are really really effective um, they don't seem to let in a lot of light at all i've also shown different kinds of shirts again high quality shirts would work very well because they don't seem to give a lot of the light and i also have gone through a combination of different t-shirts and i was just surprised by how much light they let through i would definitely discourage you to use jersey type material because it allowed through the light and because it's quite elasticated i used my own shaz's time t-shirt as an experiment it's 100 percent cotton and when i put a light towards it i could see that the light was coming through and again that for me is not giving me the coverage that i want so i would say using t-shirts is an absolute last resort but if you are going to use a t-shirt please use two or three layers i hope you found this video useful i tried my best to go through as many fabrics as possible so that you could see for yourself just what fabrics you should and should not be using when making or buying a face mask if the light goes through any fabric when you put it against the light please don't use it don't bother buying it because it's not going to give you the effective protection that you want in order to be coronavirus free at the end of the day this is your life and you have got to do whatever you can to ensure that you don't get it so i hope you enjoyed the video please give me the thumbs up and do subscribe and please share if you know somebody who's making a mask or buying a mask or unsure what fabrics to use this video i hope will be useful to them as well so until my next video goodbye for now